Okay, we made it. Hopefully you've uh, gotten some things out of these videos of how to build a great dental dream team. Um, I've knocked out eight videos for you to keep content coming because I think that these uh, topics are important and really need to be kind of um, taken in bite-sized chunks because it's not something that we can just do overnight. That being said, I would love to know more from you about questions that you have, things that you want me to address, topics you want to talk about, um, because building a dream team for a dental office is only step one. We have lots of stuff that we deal with in the dental office, and not that I have the answers for everything, but I will do my best to get those answers for you and to address them for you or get you the right information about whatever it is you want to know. So let's talk about the last thing when it comes to building a dream team and just to summarize what we've already talked about is you need to have good leadership you need to have an amazing team you need to have the right culture you need everybody on your team to have the right why um, you need to set games and goals you know it needs to be fun and you need to know what you're trying to achieve you need to have handle attitudes or whatever word that you come up with from the last video that flare up throughout the days or weeks because it's gonna happen, right? It's life and we're dealing with stressful things. And then lastly, let's talk about purpose. And I know purpose sounds a little bit like why, but in my mind and in this series, it's a little different. And what I'm talking about when it comes to purpose is who do we work for, right? Who is our ultimate customer? What is our purpose for our jobs? Why are we even here? Um, I know that our why, we talked about our why is your heart and, and your internally why you care about what you do, why you, why you do what you do in the dental office. But our purpose is that, that something we can put our finger on or that thing we can point to that, that we can say, that, this is it. What's our, this represents um, our decision-making behind everything we do throughout the day. And our purpose needs to be on one person. And it's not the dentist, and it's not Delta Dental, and it's not your coworker, and it's not you. It's our patients, okay? Our patients need to be first and foremost in every decision that we make. We need to understand that if we didn't have patients, and what I mean by patients, you know, with the NTS, not NCE, patients to care for, we don't have a job. We don't have a dental office. We are sitting around with nothing to do and nobody to care for and um, doesn't matter if you have a dream team or not, we don't have our patients there. So ultimately our purpose should always be putting our patients first. And when I say that, I talk about it and I put this as the last step because if you have the rest of this recipe, this is almost like gonna come second nature to people on your team and your culture and your dream team. But remembering that every decision you make should be for the best interest of the patient. Um, many times we get, we become so good in our jobs that we become more focused and our purpose is more on collections and dental claims and insurances and, and procedures and CAD CAM and doing the latest greatest dentistry and, and you know, trying to be the, you know, fee-for-service practice or whatever it is your game is and what you want to do. We do that in lieu of our patients. What I mean is we put those things in front of patient care. And I see it all the time. I go on these dental groups and I see dentists who are trying to like shorten profies because they can get more patients in in a, in a certain time frame. Or how can I run two chairs at one time? Or you know, we want to integrate something new and, and we want to get paid more because medical billing, you know, will pay more and, and all of that's fine. But what about the patients? Are you doing it because you care about the patients? Are you making decisions because this is the best decision for the patient? Um, the number one complaint, if you go on the internet or if you talk to people about dental offices, not new patients, but existing patients that have come to your practice for years, is that they used to feel like you cared about them, they used to feel like they were part of the family, and now they feel like a number. Now they feel like we hurry them in, hurry them out. Now they feel like we're, we're just trying to get the procedures done and get them out. They no longer feel like they're part of the family. So don't let anything else that you're trying to accomplish in games and building the dream team get in the way of always putting the patient first. 
Make sure everybody on your team makes decisions that always puts the patients first. Make sure anything you're trying to integrate and add to your team or to your services that you offer is with the idea of putting the patients first. And, and I'm, gonna, I'm gonna kinda go off on a, on a bandwagon here or like squirrel, um, but this is something I'm seeing right now um, and I'm watching a lot on social media when it comes to medical billing. There's a lot of dentists who really want to do medical billing. They got the, I've got to talk to a lot of office managers who are tasked to learn medical billing. Um, and that's great, right? I think it's important and I could see where it, it's great for a dental office. But the reason that I think I'm worried about it and the reason I think it, it's not um, implementing as well as it should in many offices, besides it being hard, is that we're doing it for the wrong reason. Um, dentists are doing it because they want to get paid more because they know medical insurance will pay more than dental insurance and that's totally true I'm not saying it's not true but what's the bigger purpose what's the bigger reason why you want to do medical billing typically these procedures are procedures like sleep dentistry or implants or full full mouth you know um, cases that should be the purpose behind it. Really helping our patients live longer, meaning with sleep that they don't, you know, they don't die in the middle of the night. Um, that we're really trying to help our patients who have a CPAP and hate it and don't use it and their lifespan is shortened because of it. Um, because we're trying to help our patients with more than just their teeth, but like their overall health. That is a bigger purpose than getting paid more by medical, medical insurance, by getting bigger checks. That is just part of the process, the medical billing, but really know what your purpose is. Is it really here to take care of our patients? Are you really doing things for the patients and putting them first? And if you are, and you have an amazing leader, an amazing team, amazing culture, you have the why, you have everything I've talked about in this series, you're gonna kill it. If you're doing it because you're motivated by money or you're motivated by trying to make things go faster and be more efficient and try to get paid more, the patients are gonna know that. The patients are gonna feel it. Your team's gonna feel it. Um, we need to make sure that we're always putting our patients first. So, my final thought for you in this uh, eight, eight part series, you know, seven steps to building a dream team, is there's one more person on the team that we haven't talked about, and that's your patient. Make sure that you include your patient when you're looking at what's best for the doctor, what's best for the team, what's best for your practice, what's best for your patient. If you do that, you've got an amazing dream team and you're gonna kill it in, in you know, nice terms. Um, that's who you need to make sure you're always factoring is, is this something that's gonna be good for our patients? So on that note, I hope you enjoyed this. This was my first attempt to try to do a series um, and talk about topics that I think are important in the dental office. Again, I would love to hear from you. I would love comments. I would love for you to share this with other people. Share this on your, um, your dental groups. Um, I, this is my opinion on stuff. I'm not saying this is fact and this is you know all that you need to do, but I would love to know what you guys have to say. And I would love to build a community where we can learn and grow together. So I hope you appreciated this. I hope you like this. Um, I'm off to San Antonio after these videos. Actually, by the time you finish watching these videos, I'll be back and then I'm heading to DC for my own live event. Um, so give me some topics so when I come home, I can knock out a few more videos for you so that we can keep this going, learning and growing and the conversation going when I'm on the road. And thank you for taking the time to uh, sit down with me, watch these videos, and hopefully you found a few of the things that have changed in all of the videos throughout the time. And if you like this and you want me to keep it going, let me know. If not, it's a lot of work, so I want to know that you're enjoying that. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.